Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to um, use the PHP to build a crude operation or application. So we can call it operation or app, whichever way you want it. I'm going to be showing you how to use PHP to build a crude application. Now the crude stands for create, read, update and delete. So I'm going to be showing you how to achieve that with PHP. Now firstly, we're going to be having um, this um, the user uh, the user uh, file so we have the name so let's put down um, the name so I have David and I have David at gmail.com then I have the phone number so I'm just put a random number and I have password I just put that so we'll click on submit button then it takes us down to this display page okay now in this display page every of the data that we have stored in database is visible right here on this file so every one of our datas we are gonna be or we can also delete those files and we can choose to update okay so we have serial number we have name email mobile password and operations all this data you are seeing are already stored in database and uh, we are actually um, is um, able we are able to see them on our interface okay so i'm going to be showing you how to actually do that and uh, i'm going to be showing you how to delete so if i take this off if i if i click on this delete button now this record is going to go so let's click on this okay so you see that it's gone okay so serial number two is actually deleted okay so if i want to update this one out okay the file the um data i just um <clears throat> inserted created now if i want to update it i'll just click on the update button okay so if i want to put david one two as the name and um, one two as the email and um, take this up and put something else and change the password to um, other numbers so click on submit so we see that actually is updated to david12 david12 at gmail.com and we see the mobile we see the password so that's how uh, we do that so we have to delete we have the update we can update records and then um, we are actually um, um, reading the data that we have on our database so if we want to add new data we can click on the add users and we impute another user so that's just how we're going to be doing it so pretty simple so just sit tight and um, watch how this is actually done so firstly let's go to our visual studio code don't forget always um, create a folder okay so just let's go down to our ht doc so go to your exam ht doc so create a new folder so i have crude app here okay so take that folder to the visual studio code all right so you do that quickly and um i'm going to create um a users.php file okay so let's um, put our doc structure right here okay very important so we're going to have this actually changed so we just take this crude application okay all right so very simple so secondly let's go to bootstrap we're going to be using a framework called bootstrap so we we'll go down to so we we'll go down to get bootstrap.com so i'm using the bootstrap 4 so just come down here and um, we have i'm going to pick the bootstrap css so you see css here i'm going to paste it here so paste copy i'm going to copy it sorry so i'm going to take it down here to our add element and um, paste it right there so so we have it here so next thing i'm going to take this off we don't actually need this all right so we have that taken off now the next thing we're going to do here um we're going to create we're going to have a form all right so with this we have we can now use bootstrap to start writing our code so nextly i'm gonna have container put this in a container okay now container in bootstrap is kind of a fixed width uh, okay putting every of your um you know every of your files sorry 
putting an overview of your code in a fixed width, not file, sorry. We're actually working on the file now. So putting an overview of your code in a fixed width, so in such a way that at, at the left and the right side, there is a space, there's a margin right there. But container fluid, it takes the entire um, page and takes the entire file, but we are going to be using the container. Okay, so we're going to go back to our, bush, our bootstrap, getbootstrap.com and uh, we actually need a form so i'm going to type form here click enter okay so i'm just going to take a basic form a very simple form okay so I'll copy that and minimize and um, come down here and um, we paste it there okay so um, i'm going to take out some stuff that we don't actually need so i'm taking out everything here okay i'm taking out everything that we here we actually don't need that okay all right now i'm gonna remove this email and put name all right now before we move on let's put a um, method okay let's i forget and then we have post and also action okay so the file whereby this is gonna be taken to so I'm gonna use a PHP syntax for this all right so I have um, a super global we call that server okay so put a square bracket here and a code so we have PHP underscore surf so I'm taking it directly to this particular file i'm not taking it to any other file i'm using the same document <coughs> document i have here all right so i'm taking this off we don't need that okay so next thing we're gonna do here oh let's remove that so i'm gonna take this and um paste it yep so we're gonna paste it four times all right so we have name okay so here i'm gonna change this to text all right so place order i'm gonna have enter your name okay so nextly we're gonna have is an email okay so i'm gonna take this placeholder so instead of writing this again i'm gonna copy what i have here and paste it here so this we're gonna change that to email okay so nextly we have mobile all right so i'm gonna paste that placeholder here also so check that mobile okay so we have that so paste that here again now this one's gonna have password okay so i'm gonna change this here to password all right so very very important now another thing that we need to do is that we need to have a name here that will help the send transfer of data to a server so i'm gonna have name okay so i'm gonna copy this okay so i'm gonna take this to email all right right here we're gonna have a mobile and um lastly here we're gonna have password all right so um okay so we're going to change this to text also and um this we're going to change this to password all right so don't forget to put the name here also for a submit button so this will have submit right there okay all right that's that will be all okay so next thing we're gonna do is to go create our database all right 
so I'm just gonna go to my browser or just come down to your exam control panel and click on admin okay so it takes us to the admin which is the PHP my admin so I'm just gonna click on new all right so click on new so I'm just gonna give crude up all right so let's use underscore crude underscore app okay so database has been created okay so yeah i'm gonna have um crude so we're gonna have five columns if you check that here you will see that we have um name email mobile and password okay the reason why i'm gonna have five is that we're gonna have an id so click on create okay we have five columns so here i'm gonna have id i'm gonna have name okay so here we're gonna have um email mobile and password uh, so here we're going to change this to vocal now this is going to remain at integer so we're going to leave this blank okay infinite okay it can be any um, infinite length so here we're going to have 32 32 30 okay 50 and 32 all right without wasting one of the time so you can actually twitch on that if you choose to all right now let's move on to the auto increment for the um id so just click on this auto increment a underscore i it takes the primary key and um, we are good to go with a save so we save it and um we are good to go so we have our id we have the name we have the email we have the mobile and we have the password so let's go to browse okay so everything is actually um correctly um it's correctly here okay so it's all correct so let's go back to our code so i'm going to show you how to create a record inside the database so c first of all we are doing c now let's move on to the top here and um, before we move on let's create a connect let's connect the database so we're just gonna have connect the php connect db the php so i'm going to be showing you how to actually connect to a database all right so firstly let's put down a php syntax here all right and um we're gonna have a variable called connects connection so i'm gonna have a function which is my sqli underscore connects okay so this will help the connection so next day we're gonna have localhost server name all right comma we have the username which is root and uh, a password is an empty string then lastly we have crude this should be in a quote don't forget that so we have crude underscore app just going to swing my key all right so there's some economy so we're going to test this so we have if connection is right echo we are we are connected okay so let's just say connected successfully all right so put a semicolon right there so if this connection is bad so we're gonna have kill the program with the die function and um, we're gonna have connection 
fail okay so that's my sqli underscore error okay so passing connection right there okay so let's try that now i'm gonna uh, include take this to a user oh okay better still let's try that here so what we are gonna do here is that let's go to copy parts okay so go to your browser and paste that there all right so just remove this and put local host okay so connected successfully all right so our database is successfully connected so we don't have a problem on that again so nextly let's go to users.php and open a syntax right there php syntax and we're going to include um connect underscore b db oh, okay there's no underscore there connect db dot php all right so we are good to go now the next thing we're gonna have if oh, sorry if is set okay um we're gonna use post super globals okay if is set to submit if it's set to submit if is if it's set to submit if push is set to submit execute what so we're going to check um we're going to have this uh, we're going to have some variables that's going to come in from um this particular form okay so the names we're going to have them passed in here so just declare some variables here so we have this i'm just going to copy this so let's just have that here okay so we have name yep so i'm gonna copy and paste that so i have oh sorry okay no 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 okay we don't need the id actually okay so we just have here um email okay Alright, so next we have mobile. Okay, so here we have password. Alright, so we have password here. So next thing now we're gonna have to use the query. So we're gonna query this. Alright, so we have um, SQL. Um, code that we can use to do that so we're going to be using the sql um query code so firstly i'm going to declare a variable for this now i'm going to have insert into code okay so now the code is the table name so i'm not going to um put this in a one line so i'm just going to concatenate all right so I'm just gonna have query dot equals to. All right, so we have. Okay, before we do that, let's um put this here. So we have name, comma, email, comma, mobile, comma, and password. I'm gonna wrap up the screen okay all right now we're gonna have values here okay so this is actually coming from these variables that we have here okay so let's make sure we have this on a double quote okay we don't want to single code because we're gonna be having single code inside all right so let's put this name yes okay so comma so we're gonna have email okay comma so we have mobile comma then lastly we have password okay so um that's very very easy so these variables that we have here are the variables that we declared here and they are the values are the ones 
coming from the form okay so we are passing them right here okay but these ones that we have stated here are the um, columns that we have on our database so we are inserting into crude and these are the columns here all right so let's move on now we're going to have uh, put a semicolon at the end very important okay so we have results so we're going to store them in a variable of results so we're going to declare a function which is my s q l i underscore query okay so this one bring the connection and the query together so we want to bring database connection and the query together so we have connection comma and we have query okay all right perfect oh what's that okay put a semicolon at the end of that okay so we're going to test this we have if if the result is true okay if result is true um, i'm going to use this if result is true so yep we're going to have echo what are we going to echo we're going to echo something that's a statement we're going to have data inserted successfully okay put a semicolon at the end so in case there is an error so we're going to have this i'm just going to go to connect underscore db and copy what i have here all right so i paste that there in case there is an error okay all right okay so let's go check this out so i'm just going to come here and um, copy parts okay go back there so i'm going to open a new file paste that there okay take away this we don't need that just put local host okay enter all right so we have connected successfully okay um i'm gonna put a space here okay this is not looking quite so good so we're gonna put a space here so let me go back and um we're gonna have here my hyphen five okay so that's uh, my in bootstrap is margin top and bottom so let's go check that again okay so perfect now i'm gonna put name so we have david okay and um, we have um, david still seeing some other errors that i need to tackle here okay but let's um continue i'm gonna do that after this okay so we have david at gmail.com i'm gonna put the number and um, i'm gonna put the password all right so let's click submit okay so data inserted successfully okay let's go back to our local host and see if that data is actually there okay so i'm just gonna reload this okay all right so we have our data right here so we have id of one we have name david email david at gmail then we have mobile okay and we have password all right so let's go back to our code but before we move on i want to actually do something here on the imputes i'm gonna use auto complete i'm gonna put off there i don't want all these suggestions coming out on my imputes i'm gonna copy this and then paste it right here i don't love i don't i don't like seeing those suggestions coming up on my code so this is going to help me to tackle those things all right let's go back to our crude application okay so sus connected successfully i don't want that again so i'll go back and um let's take this off okay let's take this off so paste that here okay so if this connection is not right so we say if not if not connection if the connection is bad that's when it's going to actually crash it down okay give us an error but we all know that is true so we don't need to test if it's true again so if in case it's not uh, there's an error or something so connection field will give us an error now let's move on so we don't need that we don't need to see that again so it's off so i'm just going to put victory 
all right so those silly suggestions is out of my way okay so i have gmail.com so i have mobile i'm just going to put a random value okay password one and three so submit okay data inserted successfully all right let's go and check that again so i'm going to reload my um, page here okay so i have victory victory at gmail i have number and i have a password one two three so that's it now um the next thing we're going to do is that if you look at uh, my first the illustration i gave us the, com the finished work we had somewhere like a display where we actually display the records that we have on our database so before we do that we have to get um, something a table from our bootstrap.com so just put table uh, let's just search for table okay so we just copy this here okay copy all right so go back so i'm just gonna open a new file so give that display dot php all right display that php so just put your doc syntax there all right so i'm gonna have container here i'm gonna have this in a container and um, i'm gonna have a button okay i'm gonna have a button here all right so type okay so this is oh okay submit all right so also i'm gonna put an href here so is href is gonna have user dot php and um, the name will be add users all right that's um, very simple let me wrap up my screen okay and uh, before we move on i'm gonna have a class here i'm gonna put in some bootstrap um, a class okay to make it look attractive and um, looking nice so btn btn i feel primary okay so that's it on that now let's uh, move on and paste that table that we collected right there from that bootstrap okay so next layer okay let's go check this out let's see what it looks like so i'm gonna copy part and um go down here paste that here so we're gonna actually remove that okay so we have local host okay all right we didn't um, actually bring in a bootstrap link here okay so let's do that quickly all right okay so let's go back and um below that okay so we have you add users here so let's go and change that also so we're gonna put a class here okay so we have text i think light okay so let's go back all right so we have had users right here so um so up we're gonna use margin let's use margin my iphone 5 okay and then let's do that okay all right so <clears throat> that's looking nice okay not so bad all right now we're gonna have in your serial number name um, email mobile password and operations so let's go back here so we have serial number okay so we have name and second one we have email okay then we have mobile i'm gonna copy this and paste it so last we have password 
then lastly we have operations we can have our update and delete button so we have operations here okay so let's go check that out again all right so we have serial number name email mobile password and operations okay is that very very easy so i'm we're just i'm going to be showing you how to actually fetch the records that we have from the database okay having them right here at our ui so let's go back now we have the body here okay so i'm just going to comment on this we don't need that anymore for now we don't need it we don't need it okay so we're going to have a php syntax right here okay so next we're going to use query it's going to have a query okay so we're going to query this so next thing we're going to have um select a query select all from crude okay so this is means the asterisk here means all okay so just put a semicolon at the end so we're going to test this we're going to um, store connect it actually to with our connection so we're going to have this result variable here so we're going to have the function which is my sqli underscore query okay then we're going to pass in two variables so variables for connection and then variable for query okay so we want to bring those two together so we use the function my sqli underscore query now next thing we're going to do we're going to have to actually pull these records from the database okay so without wasting much of a time we're going to use a while loop to actually do that so we have y okay we have um, we're going to have a variable called rule so we are signing my sqli underscore fetch underscore assuage okay so what are we fetching we are fetching results okay so we're fetching what is coming from this result all right so we just put that here all right so the next thing we're going to do to fetch everything we have here so we're going to have to declare the variables so we're going to declare a variable for id and um we're going to have rule so open the square bracket so we are firstly we're going to fetch the id so this is coming from the database okay and we are storing it into the variable id so we're going to have id right there so we're going to have name okay so i'm just going to take this to name variable so next day we're going to have um, email all right so we're going to store this in an email variable next we're going to have a mobile okay so mobile variable all right lastly we're going to have password okay so we store that to our password variable okay all right so that's uh, really simple so next thing we're going to do here is that we're going to bring in we're going to bring in our table here so we're just going to take this now okay so copy and um bring it down here so i'm going to have echo all right so paste it right inside this echo okay so this now i'm going to remove that put a quote and concatenate a variable for id then concatenate back and then we put another quote okay so this is what we're going to do because we want to concatenate the values right here inside this particular table this table um this table that we have here okay so i'm seeing something that is okay all right we are on the right track all right now we're gonna have this let's take this off 
Alright, so we do the same. Put a quote dot a variable for name. Alright, put dot then close in this. Now this um, quote here is ending here. Okay, so concatenate the variable that is coming from the database. Okay, then we open another quote here and it ends here. Okay, so that's what we are actually doing. Alright okay so let's move on okay so we're gonna have this um put a code there dot variable for email okay dot put another code there just follow my lead okay it's very simple just put a code dot mobile so dot okay so i'm just going to copy and paste this and change this to password all right so um pretty good oh, short was that all right pretty looking good okay now let's go and check our ui to see the okay we have an error syntax error line 47 i think it's a semicolon problem line 47 yep we have an error here so we're gonna have an error definitely there so let's go back and um okay so we have undefined variable connection okay i didn't connect this okay so let's come back to the top here and um, let's put the php syntax here okay so we have include include connect db dot php all right so that should solve that problem okay now let's go back and check that once more again all right so we have undefined variable for password okay so that's why password is not coming up okay so there's an error on password all right so let's go back there and search out that error okay all right so we misspelled this all right so misspelled okay so i'll try to correct that all right so we have this right here okay so we have serial number one two we have david we have david at gmail we have mobile and uh, we have the password right there so right here we're going to have um our operations which is the update and delete button that we're going to pass in here so let's go back to our code now um, before i take that here so i'm just going to have a button here okay so we have type okay so we have submit okay so we have class we have btn btn iphone primary Okay, so this is updates. But before we have that there, so I'm gonna have href. Okay, so I have updates. Okay, so copy paste. Very simple. So this we change this to delete, and um, this we change this to danger. All right, so. I think that will be all. So let's cut this up and um, come down here. And um, let's just copy this and um, take this off. Okay. Oh my God. I did something crazy. All right. So cut that. Okay. So let's just have TD here. Okay, and um, we're gonna pass it here. But um, all right. So um, I think there is an error going on here. So I'm just gonna take this to double quotes. Okay, so we're gonna have double quotes here. All right. All right. Now let's go check what we have okay all right it's not looking bad but only that we have 
this color so we're gonna change the color right here okay let's go back and um, come down to this so we give it a class here so again text iPhone white all right so same thing I'm gonna have here so we're gonna have text iPhone white now let's go back and check this out okay okay so this is looking much better now so we have our record here okay we have all our records in a database fleshed out now so we can choose to update or delete so firstly we're going to work with delete but um i need to know that this button is actually working okay so it's not working so let's go back and make that work okay so let's go to the top of users dot okay now display okay we're still in display okay so we have users dot php right here so okay that's supposed to work all right okay, we're gonna get to the bottom of that now I think I omitted S. All right, so we have that here. Okay, perfect. Now let's work on how to delete this. Now, before we move on on how to delete this, now I want to make sure that whenever we mouse over on this, we should see the ID. Okay, that we have displayed right under here. Okay, so if we mouse in here, so we have just displayed your PHP, but I want to see that we have this id that we have here displayed right there so how do we actually do that now it's through that way that we can actually select this particular row okay this particular id and delete all the records that we have there so if we don't have that selected if we don't have that picked we can actually um, delete this particular row this particular um, id now let's go back to our code now let's come down here and then right at this so we're gonna have delete delete.php okay so i'm just gonna open a new file for delete.php so we have delete.php okay very simple all right so come back here so i'm just gonna have question mark okay so we have delete delete id okay so you can you can it can be any name but i'm just using delete id okay so i'm just gonna have this concatenate here so make sure you have this concatenate here and i'm gonna have my variable here okay now what is really happening here is that this id now is coming from the id that we have here okay it's coming from the um, database okay so this variable here is what we are actually passing right here okay so let's go back and then we load okay we have an error okay so we have an error here so let's take that off first okay okay I think there's a um, error on that semicolon oh sorry oh sorry my bad all right so perfect now if we mouse over on this you will see that at the bottom here we have delete id equals one and if you come down here to the second we have delete id equals two now if i click on this button now you will see that it takes me to delete um the delete file now if you look at the top here you will see that at the url we have delete id equals to one so it's ready to actually delete the id that is from this URL, so it's ready. So if you come here, if you click on delete to, 
we see that it takes us here to the URL. You see that we have delete ID equals to so any operation that we are actually um, doing on this particular file is telling us that you have to use the get. We have to use not we have to use the get. All right, so that when we are we are we actually we're going to use the get to uh, super globals to get the URL that is passed right here to get this delete id that is passed in the url so anything that we're actually doing there is going to must pass must follow this uh, process coming in from the url to actually delete the record that we have there so let's go back to our delete.php so we're gonna have we're gonna create a php syntax all right so i'm gonna have here um firstly we're gonna have the id of let's include connect db dot php so put a semicolon there now we're gonna have this id equals to assign the super global um, variable so it's get we're gonna use the get okay so what are we actually getting so we are actually getting delete id okay so put a semicolon right here okay so we are actually getting delete id okay so we are assigning it to a variable id okay so we're just gonna have if is set okay if it's set to super global get all right and um we're gonna be using delete id if it's set to delete id all right so what do we want to execute we're gonna execute something here so we're gonna have a query um we're gonna have a query and we're gonna say delete delete from crude okay so put a semicolon right there oh sorry let's put a double quotes okay so we have where id is equals to this id all right so that's all we need to do so we're gonna have that yes yeah, so we're gonna put a result okay connecting the two of them so we have my s q l i underscore query so we want to query them so we're gonna have connection comma and uh, we're gonna have query right here okay so if this if there is an error okay so we have if if the connection is not right so if the result is faulty okay if it's true so we just have your echo um data deleted successfully okay else else let's go to our connect db and pick this up there we have it already there so we don't need to write it all over again all right so i'm just gonna remove this all right so we have to, if this is correct so delete data deleted successfully if is um there's an error so connection feed we have this mysqli function for error all right now let's move on and go test that out All right, so I believe it should work. Okay, so we're gonna click on this. All right, so we have data deleted successfully. 
then we'll go back and reload this page okay so you see that data is gone so i'm gonna add a user again so i have victory victoria okay so we have victoria victoria at gmail dot com and i have number just give it a random number password one two three okay okay data inserted successfully now there's something that i need to do here on this um user so instead of having to instead of having to um you know always find that display dot php so i'm just going to take the location directly immediately once i click on the submit button so i'm just going to come down here okay so i'm going to comment on this data insert successfully instead i'm going to have header all right so i'm going to have location so put that in a quote okay so we have location all right put a column so i have display dot php all right so that is all so that's all we need to do so we'll go back there and test that again all right so i'm gonna give my good friend name which is samura all right so we have samura at gmail dot com all right so mobile we just give a random number and um password we just have something there so click on the submit so immediately it takes us to this page okay there's um display.php file and we see our new file right here all right so we have the serial number which is four we have the name we have the email we have the mobile we have the um password now if you want to delete anyone here so you can click um you can delete here so you say delete data deleted successfully but what if i want this to actually remain here okay without taking us to that file that page so we can actually do that also so we'll go to delete.php and i'm going to comment on this all right so i'm just going to have your header okay so here we're going to have location the code there so we have display dot php so that's perfect okay so it's going to reload on this page now so delete that okay oh there's an error on line 14 okay semicolon i forgot to put a semicolon there all right so let's go and add in another record so just power power at gmail gmail.com so we just put some value for password and click on submit all right so that's it about that now let's work on this update now if you look at this delete now we are seeing the id right at the bottom here if you look here we're seeing the id which is five right at the bottom so we want to do that same thing to the updates so what we're going to do here is that we'll come back go to the display.php all right and um, right here we're going to have updates.php so put a question mark and here we have updates id okay so equals to so we're going to take in this same id so instead of writing that again all right so i'm just going to actually copy what i have there and um, it brings what the id this id now is coming from this particular id that we have here so it brings it right there so we'll just come back here and um oh my god all right so we'll just come back here and um we will load this okay so okay now we see the updates we have the id now ready to you know we have it ready to work with okay so now let's click on the updates now okay we've not created a page 
all right so go back to your code so let's come here we have updates um dot php all right now um we're going to take in everything that we have on the users okay we're going to highlight everything and copy okay and paste that on the updates now if you look at this we have um we have here we have submit we have the name we have everything yes slated here okay but um before we move on we have the email mobile password but we have insert now this is what we're going to change right now but before we move on i'm going to have to um, bring in id is we're going to assign the super global variable gets okay so what are we actually getting here okay so we have updates update id okay so put a semicolon right there now we're gonna have to change this okay and uh, we're gonna have to change this to updates okay let's 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 leave that as submit okay let's leave that as submit and then let's come down here okay we need to wrap up the screen and change this to updates all right now let's go to the top and let's put the code that's responsible for that all right now we're going to take this off all right we're going to take this off we don't need that here now let's take this off so so what we need here is update um crude set all right so update crude set so um i don't want to actually pass this on one line so i'm just going to concatenate this so i'm going to have id is equals to id here okay so we just have a comma right here okay so make sure you put a comma so the reason why i'm not going to be wrapping this on the code is because it's an integer okay i'm not going to be putting a code around this id here okay now let's move on okay so here we have query we're going to concatenate again so the next one we have is the name so we have name no passing a variable for that so make sure you wrap this on a quote or a single quote and put a space here or better still just put a comma okay so i'm just i'm just going to copy the remaining things and paste it here so here i'm going to change this to email all right so i'm going to change this to email also without wasting much of a time so here we're going to have mobile okay so we're gonna have mobile and lastly here we're gonna have password so we're gonna have password here all right so um i think that's um all right for us okay so i'm just gonna comment on this and um, i'll comment on this so data updated successfully okay all right so let's get that let's get that rolling let's get that rolling all right um are we having okay let's go check let's go check now we take this okay so we have line 13 query there's an error on line 13 all right okay we have a very big area we can put semicolon on this okay um, we ought to put semicolon there okay let's go back there and um all right so we have our name email mobile and password so let's see um if we can have that so we just put devil okay so we have devil 
uh, gmail.com and um, just put a number let's put um, something here so just put update okay on cox sql duplicate entry one four okay so we have some area now for which to solve this error um, we have this id right here okay and then um, overwriting this id now is um, telling us that there is is telling us that this is a duplicate okay so we have to actually do something in such a way that we're gonna give it where id is equals to this id so now we're gonna have this here. let's just put query here so here we're gonna have where id is equals to ID so take away this comment we don't need that here all right so put a semicolon here so we have where ID is equals to it's assigned to this ID here yeah? okay so that's it so let's go check that again all right so we have devo now we have devo at gmail dot com so I'm just gonna put a random value here all right so also just put something click on update all right so we have data updated successfully all right let's go check this now at our display okay all right so you see that it's actually updated now i'm going to do something we're going to um send the um result to this particular display.php so what do we do with that so we'll come down here and um what's that okay let's go down to this okay so just comment on this and then um, comment on this all right so we are good to go so anytime we update a record it comes directly to this page okay let me update this i also have power power pack power dock so power pack okay so we have power pack at gmail dot com i'll just give it a random number and um, i'm gonna have this as the password so click on this all right so you see that we updated and it came to this our display um, file okay so we don't have to actually leave it there okay so it came here directly so um the last thing that we're going to do before we call this up um let's go to this so in the in our last um sections that's in when i was explaining this particular project you see that there was kind of the names we are actually popping up here all right so we're just going to do that so whenever we can choose to update um any one of our choice instead of so actually we can choose to update any one and in case that we want to see the actual values that we are trying to update so that's what we are going to be doing here so how do we actually get that done so we just come here and um we're gonna have we're gonna do something on the query so let's say we have sql variable let's declare a variable called sql and um, let's pass in let's first of all get everything that we have there so i'm just coming in here i'll come down here oh, sorry update, uh, delete okay nope, 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 nope. all right so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna take this all right copy and go back to our update and we post it there all right so all right so this is all what we need to do okay now the next thing is that um we are not going to be using the while loop to look through everything so we're just going to call each one of them all right we're going to we're going to we're going to be selecting each one of them so we have id 
and then we have we have id we have um we have id we have equal uh, we have okay sorry okay so we have to change this to sql all right then now we're gonna have um a variable called rule so we're gonna have my sqli underscore fetch as such okay so we are trying to fetch what is passed in from the result okay so put a semicolon right there all right now the next thing we're going to be doing here is that we're going to declare a variable for this so we have id then we have um row so square brackets we are passing getting the id here so i'm going to copy the remaining and paste it here so I have name so this we're trying to get the name okay so um we have the email and this will change into email also and then here we have the um mobile um, kind of so we have mobile and lastly we have password all right so here we're gonna have password here okay so um we have this here and um, it's not going to end here so we're going to actually echo it on each of everything that we have here so for we to actually have this displayed here okay so let me show you something really quick so if you put something like this like value and we assign something here like let's say we have power so let's go and check this out so you see that it actually shows us so that's what we're going to do so we're going to actually um output those things coming from the database here okay we're going to output them inside this place value each one of them so that's what we're going to do all right so we have here okay so we have we're going to put a php syntax Right, so we have echo so we're gonna echo name all right so i'm gonna copy what i have here and paste it here so here we're gonna have email okay so next we're gonna paste it here also so here i'm gonna have mobile Okay, and lastly, I'm going to paste it here also. And in this one, I'm going to have password. All right, so that is it. Now, let's go check that out. Okay, so you see that we have... Okay, I think there was an error somewhere because I'm at power pack. Okay, there's an error, okay okay the error here is um right here so let's go back okay now we're gonna have where where id is equals to id all right so this we solve that error so let's go back and um okay so that is solved so if we go down to um power so we can remove this pack all right i can take this pack off and then um, click on update so you see that it actually updates that record right there so i have power i have power gmail you see you want to update just only the password and um, i can come here and um, actually update the password which is give it one two three so updated and um you see the password right here so you see that's it about this 
you can come here and uh, create a new record so i'm just gonna have here as somewhere i did this okay so we have somewhere at gmail .com. all right so i'm gonna give it password i'm gonna give it and, uh, just random okay so submit so we see somewhere right here okay if you want to delete this we can actually delete all right so let me add in another record so we can have that at the back of our mind so i'm just going to use um boss okay and gmail.com all right so just give it a random value for the mobile and password let's give it something then click on it so bam we see we have the record here so we want to delete you click on it it goes away and then we have this here so that's it about this project all right it's very very simple i'm sure you have a good understanding of what we did okay just follow my lead and you're going to have you're going to get every single turn you're going to get it in every single turn that we have okay just follow the lead okay we have the codes right here and um it's um, very very explanatory and very easy to actually work with so thank you thank you thank you for your time i really 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 appreciate your time to actually watch this video and um i'll see you in what's in my next video which i'm gonna be doing pretty soon bye for now